Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I want to talk about something that's very handy, especially for larger accounts when you're using Zoho CRM. And in general, it should be useful for everyone. And that's called the admin tools. It's a newer feature inside of Zoho CRM. And it's kind of a really good hidden quirk. So picture this, you've been using Zoho for five years. During that time, you've made all kinds of workflows. You've made all kinds of email templates, maybe all kinds of custom views in the deal module or the contact module. And you're not exactly sure which one is being used. You're not exactly sure if you created it or a colleague created it, or especially in the workflow scenario, how efficient it is. So the admin tools in the CRM allow you to filter workflows, views, templates to the last time they were used, and then quickly delete them. And so this allows you to keep your database up to date when it comes to all of these automation. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through how to find it, how to use it, and some best practices with it. As always, please like and comment and subscribe. We love hearing from you guys. And um, feel free to join my office hours. There'll be a link below. You can meet me, you can chat. There's usually a group of us there and we talk about all things Zoho. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into it. So in order to find the admin tools, you're gonna to hit the gear icon in the top right here. And then under data administration, you'll see something called admin tools. Now yours may be in a slightly different section because you're able to move all of this around, but look for admin tools. You can always search up here for admin tools as well. So when you go into it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, first off, like I often mention in my videos, there is a help icon. You can click on that at any time. Zoho has great documentation on it, so I'd encourage you to do that. And then you, you see here, admin tools help you to filter out unused configurations and delete them in bulk. So as I said in my intro, it's very handy, especially as your account gets bigger, you might have people leave the company and that made views that you don't necessarily need or other things like that. So I'm gonna hit get started. You have four options along the top here. Let's start with this one, for example. If I go to templates, all of the options look the exact same when you get to this stage. So you would choose templates, you would choose a category, right? So if I go email, and then you would choose a module. So let's say I choose uh, lead. There's probably gonna be some really old ones in here. Now you can also add criteria. So you could say the created time is before this, or the last modified time is before that. So if you, you have a very specific, let's say an employee built them that's no longer here or something like that, you could do it by modified by or created by. But in this example, I'm just gonna remove the criteria and hit show result. So you'll see all kinds of templates here. And it's really neat because you can now see when they were created and when they were last modified, right? And so you can go through this very quickly and start seeing all kinds of old stuff that maybe hasn't even been used. And you can see the last used here. There's not gonna be very many recent dates because we don't use leads in our CRM, but you can see all of this. And so, as I mentioned, you can drill down even further with this add criteria. And once you find something you want to get rid of, you can go ahead and hit this and delete it. And now this will delete the template. So this is a really great way to on mass get rid of stuff that hasn't been used in a while. Like frankly, if this stuff hasn't been used, there's no date filter. You can just delete it, right? And you can do this with inventory templates or mail merge templates. And the other cool thing is you, this is a really neat one that we are gonna start using a lot is the custom views. So you can actually click on any of the custom, uh, or sorry, custom views, then any of the modules, choose the module, hit show result. And then you can see, for example, myself, I created this a year ago, but I used it recently. Well, actually in February, so not that recently. Uh, this one, I know I use a lot, right? So you can see October 11th, that was three days ago I used this. And so there's all kinds of views in here that you can use and then all kinds that you can delete like this one or any other one, right? So it allows you to query that stuff. Workflows, same thing. So they're all very similar in terms of how it allows you to query it. Same kind of look and feel. The other key point to mention here is when you delete stuff, you can always hit the history of deletion. It'll show you all of the things that you've deleted and when. So you can kind of have a log if you ever need that for whatever purpose. Lastly is reports, same thing. You can do the report, you can select the module, and then you can drill down even further in this one. 
like if I choose the module, then hit add criteria, you could see created time, folder name, last access. So they're all kind of very similar in terms of their criteria. You can obviously stack this criteria just like you would any workflow, right? So you go and this or that. So you could say something created between this date or this date or created by this person or that person. And so it gives you very granular support. And as an admin who's in charge of keeping the system clean, keeping it up to date, this is a huge time saver because until now you could do this by going to workflows or going to views, etc. But you had no idea when they were last used without really digging and things like views and templates, it was impossible to find that data, right? So this is a really big feature uh, for admins. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you and uh, have a good one. Thank you.